I'm Nancy Cordes in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, breaking news overnight as a U.S. Osprey crashes in Australia with 23 Marines on board. And three people are killed in a racially motivated shooting in Jacksonville, Florida. We'll have the latest on both stories. Another first for the American presidency last week, a booking photo of former President Trump after he was charged, along with 18 others, with conspiring to overturn the 2020 election results. We did nothing wrong, I did nothing wrong, and everybody knows it. I've never had such support. Trump may be right about that support, as his campaign says they brought in more than $7 million, thanks in part to mugshot merch. And his competitors? Please raise your hand if you would. Most, including former Vice President Mike Pence, say they'd support him for president even if he's convicted. We'll talk to Pence along with former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who feels much differently. Someone's got to stop normalizing this conduct. Have you seen Donald Trump's mugshot yet? I did see it on television. What'd you think? We'll have analysis and talk about the complicated legal calendar with our political panel. Then, a child care cliff looming next month and a bipartisan duo hoping to prevent it. South Carolina Republican Nancy Mace and California Democrat Ro Khanna will talk about the millions of children who could lose their care if Congress doesn't act. And finally, Russia expert Fiona Hill weighs in on the mysterious plane crash that killed Russian mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin after his failed coup attempt against Vladimir Putin. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.